Hi y'all. I'm back to show another flip through. Um, this one is of the Victorian Gothic vintage theme journal um, that I posted on my Etsy shop. The appliques and some of the vintage laces are that I used in the journal are from Crafty Me Shop. The digitals that I used, um, this one is from Artie Mays. Uh, the other digitals that I used are from Tailor Made Journals. I used several different Artie Mays kits and I'll let you know which ones they are as I go through the journal. And um, I think the only ones that I used from Tailor Made Journals were the French Roast um, coffee dyed papers and yeah I think that's all I used uh, from her digitals in this journal so I used a lot of um, vintage jewelry pieces as well vintage lace and buttons um, this is the last piece of this lace that I have um, I did put bead dangles on the strings of the center signature this journal measures about about nine by six and it has a one and a quarter inch spine but it has a two inch gator mouth and it's a it's a got some weight to it um, on the back I did, this is my stamp and I signed it and I try to blend that into the book most of the time and there's a journaling card in this pocket and then inside there's a pocket here another journaling card this piece is from Artie Mae's purple medley kit this is from the gothic glam kit I made these envelopes uh, this rose trim is from crafty me shop and then I just put a piece of dotted paper in here and these envelopes um, I will glue this down this is just washi tape to reinforce it but it's not sticking very well um, these these envelopes were machine embroidered on my sewing machine and then I painted the edges with gold acrylic paint and these are avocado dyed papers throughout the journal most of them and then um, they are stenciled with distress ink this is tailor-made journals from the french roast coffee dyed papers kit and so is this and i just folded this up inked it up and made a little writing spot out of it Paper, another sewn journaling card, the dotted paper, and guys, even these um, gold butterflies, these butterflies were from the late 1980s, and they still stuck down really well. This applique is from Crafty Me Shop. And then here's a piece of jewelry I used as a dangle and tied a ribbon to it. A little butterfly dangle and a lace fabric flip. Some pages under here. Pocket on this side. Journaling card. It says find the beautiful. And this is, this was Janet Hicks Mother's Day Rose um, paper that she let Artie Mays post to our group. They're Artie Mays freebies. This is Taylor Made Journals. This is part of the uh, Not So Shabby kit. And this flips open and then in here I have three German vocabulary cards. And this little envelope opens and there is a little postcard inside
this comes out. It's another envelope with a little writing spot inside. Just goes right back in here. And that folds up. Another pocket. This envelope has some writing paper in it. Here it is. It's a little shaky today, guys. Sorry. Another journaling card. I stamped on the back of that. Another journaling card. Bookmark. And more writing paper. And all that fits right back in here. And these pages, I painted gold around the edges. Just another journaling card. This is from the Artie Mae's Gothic Glam Kit. She's beautiful. I don't know where this came from. This is Taylor Made Journals. And then I made these little altered paper clips. There's another pocket. Little note cards, journaling cards. And this is the center of the signature. These appliques I got from Crafty Me Shop. They are vintage. Um, they're a little discolored, which actually makes them that much prettier. So large tag. And this little music paper booklet. This is Taylor Made Journals. The um, piano paper that I used inside I got from Diane Terry Ditzenberger. She sent me some and I've been using it to make little booklets. And this just ties back together and slips in here. And then on this side, there's another tag, stenciling on the back, some more dotted writing paper, oops. Another little stenciled writing booklet. another little writing booklet. Flip that page. Here's another piece of vintage jewelry. More little journaling cards. And then I made this little booklet, which opens up and it's stacked with writing pages then you flip those pages up and there's little hidden pockets back here and there is a piece of writing paper and a tag on this side and there are two tags on this side and these again these are um, Janet Hicks Mother's Day Rose available on Artie Mays's Facebook page another writing page and then this flips open and I know this is Artie Mays but I can't tell you what kit it's from <laughs> probably one of the ephemera kits um, here's another um, altered paper clip the sunflower on the front and the little butterfly on the back and another little booklet. Um, this is uh, scrapbook paper that I had and then I used some of the pieces from the Not So Shabby Kit by Artie Mays in here. I just 
printed multiple per page to get them smaller. And this is a little envelope. And in this little envelope, oops, there's two little pieces of ephemera. And that just pops back in here. And these little pockets are made with pressed paper that have dried flowers in them. And then here's the back. And this is another piece from the Not So Shabby kit. Taylor made journals. This is from the Artie Mays uh, Purple Medley kit. It's another pocket. This is a piece that I found in a book I really liked. Held on to it for a long time. Oops. And then in here are just um, two more little pieces of the dotted writing paper. Crafting me shop stuff is so pretty. Okay. So another pocket. With another tag. It says there is beauty and simplicity. And another large journaling card. So here. And here. Another little tag. And another little booklet. Piano paper on the inside cover. And then miscellaneous writing papers inside. And it all slips into this little pocket. Another fabric flip. This one has a little tiny key attached to it with a safety pin. And these are three layers. And then the papers to write on underneath. Another piece of vintage jewelry and ribbon. There's a, a doily here, a piece of a uh, dress here, some rose trim I cut pieces off of, and this pocket, another tag, another journaling card. This is another piece of writing paper that I made uh, using tailor-made journals printables and another piece of writing paper. Lots and lots and lots of writing space in here. And then this is the back pocket and it mirrors the front. There's another journaling card and another envelope with the washi and writing paper. y'all. Thanks for watching. Have a good weekend.